What up? Just gonna uh, back with the reactions, but this is gonna be my very first reaction outside of music, Harry Mac. This is gonna be um, uh, 12 scary videos that'll make you very afraid. So, yeah, I'll get into these videos. I watch your other reactors react to these videos, so I thought I'll get into them too. So, let's get into this. A YouTube channel has uploaded one of the scariest Japanese ghost hunting videos I think I've ever analyzed. He's exploring the abandoned hotel when he chances- When I first heard this guy's voice, man, I'm like, I still to this day think he's plain. But it, it's like, it's fun, like, it's funny and like, you just get used to it. Upon a strange sighting caught on video, Oh shit! Is that that kind of like a a ghostly kind of like a woman holding a camera or something when you first got close to it? Apparition peeks at him from around the corner. I want to believe that this is some kind of trick of the light cast by a shadow, but the more I look at it, the more it looks like a ghost is really with him in the hallway. What truly convinces me that this video is paranormal is because what happens at 1 minute 49 seconds, that's when the phantom figure moves and I can just barely catch a glimpse of its pale grey forehead hiding under long hair. And maybe it's just me, but it seems like when the ghost hunter walks by at 1 minute and 33 seconds, the figure slips back into the darkness from where it came. UK's Drizzly Jeremy goes exploring an abandoned building in his words, just to see how it was. I'm explore an abandoned morgue. I don't want to go in because it looks scary. Inside is quiet and creepy. Beyond the when I when I was in high school, uh, there's an abandoned morgue by an apartment complex I used to live by um, here in Columbus, and we broke into one. It was kind of spooky. Uh, I for, I forget how old I was. I know I was in high school crepid little office and break room they find the morgue area where the passed away were once kept in it wasn't a morgue i don't think i think it was a it might have been a, a building that was a mix of stuff but it was a very huge if you look at it from the outside especially in the dark it looks like a haunted house like from a movie like frankenstein was created there but it uh what's what's the kind of, what's the building that where um you you bury and uh, you burn in buried bodies and like the actual expensive ass tombs in there. Large refrigerated units, they wretch at the disgusting stench. A layer of foul slime has rotted the floor. Oh! What is it? Floor's all soggy, fam. That's when some scary moments are caught on camera. Go in there. Please put it on the car. Off the under. They hear a loud noise behind them and quickly get out of there. I'm pretty sure the noise is coming from in the space where bodies once were. What the f Are you brave enough to take one last look in that storage room before leaving? I wouldn't dare. An unknown creature sighting was caught on video by a girl from Boswell, Pennsylvania. Who's there? She's returning from a friend's That's house creepy. when this bizarre humanoid figure follows. When confronted at 1 minute and 37 seconds, it stretches into a shape later described as a large dog or a deer and runs away. It does look to be a mysterious, shape-shifting creature too small to be a person. At least from this perspective, this could be someone crouching down at an odd camera angle. Or it could be the Pennsylvania creature known as the Boswell Bush Crawler. If only it were a few steps over in the light, we would have been able to better tell. 
A man pulls over and records a video with his camera. After hearing a loud screaming that sounded like an animal in distress, or possibly even a person, that's when another horrifying scream comes from the woods. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, your car. Jumping around is a yelling humanoid creature that grows quiet and disappears in the tall reeds when it sees it's caught on camera. The man runs to his car and later suspects it could be a rake sighting caught on tape. The noises it makes are disturbing and do kind of sound like other rake sighting videos, so maybe he's right. Here is a still photo of the unknown creature, sighting taken at 23 seconds, just before it ducks down. Its arms look abnormally long and it's very broad shouldered too. What do you think? Is this a person or a monster? I'm afraid he could have spotted the rake after all. A family is being You're better than me because I, I went pulling over. I'll call the cops at the. I'm not pulling over to get out in the dark in the woods. I think Wolfie was getting killed. Well, I'm getting killed too. But no, um, and he left his car on. What if somebody was setting him up and they stole his car? Frightened by a ghostly apparition somewhere in Mexico, and this is the moment they finally see it. So, ¿qué se, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. Hay alguien ahí. The side of someone's face peers out from within the closet, but when they go to check where it just was, it's gone. Dinos, dinos, se asomó alguien. Alúsame, alúsame, alúsame. Espera. There definitely was something in there, because you can see its face push up against a shirt. However, at 36 seconds, there may be an editing cut yeah, when the cut camera out. is covered. This could be where they stop recording, let him out the closet, and start recording again. Creepy things are waiting to crawl up your wall. Uh, that was an ugly kid, bro. While when you live in Florida, Steve Crumbaker watches in horrified fascination as a lack of <laughs> limbs does not keep this snake from ascending a brick wall with relative ease. It uses the space between the bricks to scale the wall, always searching for the next small groove to fit into. In two minutes, the large snake has managed to wrap itself around the windowsill and appears to lie in wait. They say in the description that it's a rat snake that's harmless to humans, and I wanted to double check if they were right, so let me know. Harmless or not, it would nevertheless provide quite a scare for anyone unfortunate enough to open a window and find one dangling in front of their face. Renato Garcia claims to have had a paranormal encounter while exploring the house of a witch in Brazil. He finds all these empty bottles carefully arranged in a circle in the middle of the room, possibly for a spell, and then the far door opens all by itself. That's when some really bizarre things are caught on camera, things that are weird but possibly not real. Big thing! Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. So the door slams that shut. Reaction. Didn't seem real. It looked like it could have possibly shut you know, somebody like it didn't seem it, as soon as that shit was I would have been fucking yelling, fucking swinging. It's not like he was fighting later. By itself, which is creepy, but then he says that the bottles fall over by themselves. However, when you play this part in slow motion, you can clearly see his foot kicking them at one minute and twenty-one seconds. It's hard to see because it's dark, but when you look in slow motion, you can definitely see his shoe. With over 4 million views and nearly 80,000 likes at the time of this video, I just had to give my honest analysis and say I have my doubts about this one. If he really is faking this part, then I have trouble believing the rest of this abandoned house exploration is real. An urban exploration channel called Backyard Exploration has caught some scary stuff on video after taking a camera to an abandoned St. Louis mall. These scary moments caught on camera while exploring a dark movie theater in the mall have people wondering if this was a ghost, a glitch, or something else. Horror movies. 
Nice. That was an edit glitch. The colors become scrambled at 9 minutes and 3 seconds, and again 4 seconds later, this time accompanied by an unnatural noise. I think this part was probably edited as a joke because he is looking at horror movie posters shortly before it happens. At least that's what I think. Does this video look paranormal to you? Jal Bundy has caught some weird things on camera while exploring the forest outside of his village late at night. In front of them is the white outline of a phantom apparition that for some reason stands out against a backdrop of total darkness. When they rush towards the apparition, you can see it shrinks into a small ball of paranormal energy and disappears around the tree. Is this strange ball of light edited or really paranormal is what I want to know. I feel like this video could be real because it's late at night. They sound scared and those woods look scary too. Freaky, right? Forget about moving objects like cups, cupboards, and cabinets. This malicious ghost wants to get straight to the point, so to speak. Knife is moving like me. Knife. Knife. Knife is moving. The ghost tried to end my life, writes Sylvia C. in the description of this creepy video. I was afraid she might be right, but watch it in slow motion and you'll see it clearly comes at her with the handle first, like it's on a string. I'm not certain this video is That's, a, that's what, automatically what I thought, a string. Normal, but it's still beyond creepy to think about. This strange sighting was caught on camera by Nightmare TV at an undisclosed graveyard. I'm not sure what language they speak or what country they are from, but I do know what has them scared. It's hiding behind a tree. <laughs> They should be able to see its face from this close distance, unless it doesn't have one. This video is scary, but I'm not sure if this ghost sighting's hey, real. Ghost. This is a dude with a fucking hood up. Everything is slightly out of focus and the low pixel count makes me think this video has been edited, especially when it disappears. Yeah. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Out. Number Find 1. Out. Bedjewel TV claims to have recently made contact with the supernatural world during a live stream taken at a haunted graveyard in Indonesia. He lights some incense and then weird things are caught on camera with absolutely no wind blowing. Forty seconds later is when it happens. Paranormal contact. Yeah, yeah. That's obviously fake. Hello. Hello. Did you mind ya? But I would say this has to be special effects, <laughs> except for one be. thing. 
These scary moments were caught on live stream with a live chat that was amazed at the ghost sighting. That's fake. Even with that said, I still think this video could have been pre-recorded because he never seems to directly address what the chat has to say, nor does he call anybody by their screen name, all of which indicates this video might not be live. The ghost doesn't say anything to him. At 15 minutes and 58 seconds, it reaches out to him shortly before disappearing back to wherever it came from. This could simply be a digital image of somebody superimposed over the video, but I'll wait to see what you have to say before making my final decision on this Obviously one. Fake. This individual realized he picked the wrong house to enter. When at 4 a.m., UFC star Anthony Smith was awoken to strange screams in his home. This intruder was screaming at the top of his lungs. Fucking drugs, bro. That was crazy. That dude, that dude had to be high. Fuck out of here. That's how, that's how people get killed, man. Fucking nah. I got kids, nah. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm get more into these and some other ones. Like I said, I, I watch reaction videos, so like some of the similar videos I watch, I'm gonna probably get into different ones. But um, if there's any other like videos you want me to react to, like even comedy, I'm we'll probably do comedies too. Songs, let me know. But uh, I'm about to just be. Uh...